This is Minister Paul in Northern California, a watchman on the wall. It's 10-22-2014 at 1.34 p.m. I want to share this word that I received while in intense prayer with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He said, the package is about to be delivered. Redeeming the time for the days are evil. I'm going to repeat that. The package is about to be delivered. That's the message. Now, I was, I made this video once and was praying on it, and I was going to stop, and then the Lord confirmed something to me. You're looking at Brussels Airport, Brussels International Airport in Belgium. I've been studying this all day and trying to compare it to the airport I worked at, Sacramento International Airport, and I noticed one thing, and there's a reason for that, we'll get into that. It, this has to do with the United Nations again, the European Union, and New York. I'm going to say that again. The United Nations, the European Union, and New York. We talked about the United Nations in New York yesterday. The Holy Spirit gave me another part of this it, it's all coming together if you look over just like at sacramento international airport if you look over at here you have these gates and these international flights and in colors like red and blue see that um, but if if you pan over here to the west you'll see these yellow airplanes commercial and they stuck out to me because of the color yellow the lord was showing me yesterday um rescue and the, remember the yellow helicopter three times over my house and and so i want to show you something first of all i want to show you the belgium flag that it's yellow i want to show you um this link i'll put a link to all these things uh about brussels is considered to be the de facto capital of the european union you know, and this is really educational to me, but it's also, remember, I'm sounding the alarm. I'm going to put a link to this. Okay. And a delivery plane that I found that doesn't have any windows, this is what the Lord showed me, is DHL. Notice that its wings aren't yellow just the tips this part is clear and the, the, the rear uh, part of the wings the flap see this are also clear here's a better picture of it these aren't passenger airplanes these deliver packages and so here's some more pictures here notice how this one has uh, windows on it and then, of all things, there's a yellow helicopter with the number three on it. Rescue three, uh, again, amazingly, from Belgium. The team of the best team spirit and the most colorful aircraft, nicknamed Tweety because of the mini. It, it appears to be a number three rescue helicopter out of Belgium, if I'm understanding this correctly. Not sure what SAR stands for. But, um, again, just more information. And so, when I, when I zoomed in on these, I noticed that they also don't have any passenger windows. And trust me, I'm fully aware of the, uh, the Canadian, uh, multiple shooter incidents it's all they've been showing on the tv all day i'm ignoring that uh not because i'm mean or hurtful because it's it's a big distraction for me when i focus on the lord's work okay see so notice how there, there's no windows here so the way sacramento international airport works is they have an area that's off to the west exactly like this layout almost it's called nine echo they have a u.s postal service there and they have like a, a security gate here and then when you go around to the back they even have a tighter security gate here where packages come in they fly everything out of there you'd be amazed i seen we had this 
a, a Russian man at, at, at right around 9-11 when I went to work at Sacramento International Airport. I don't know why this came up, but I'm going to share it. He had went crazy, was fully possessed with demons, and killed his entire family. This was a, a big story around uh, 2012, I believe it was. No, strike that. I'm, uh, 2002. <laughs> Not 2012, 2002. The year after uh, 9-11. He killed his uh, his his wife and all his kids. There was a and and then himself. There was seven total killed. And I went back to from from a security gate here. I don't know why I'm sharing this. If anything, it's it's healing to talk about. I went back around in in into the back at uh, FedEx. They have jets there too. And there was seven wooden boxes in there some small some big and they had a guy in there i checked in with and and he worked for fedex and i was asking him if i could use his restroom he goes sure and i went in there and i just felt really creeped out in the restroom 2002 and i asked him what the boxes were and he said they were coffins and i said i know this is really dark and dreary but it's the truth he i said you ship bodies you're sitting in here with bodies because i've never really liked coffins they freak me out and uh, he said, oh, yeah, we ship everything. So they were going to, I, I, then I got a full understanding of how delivery works. They put coffins to, they were sending them back home to Russia. If Does anybody have a link to that story about in 2002, a Russian man kills his entire family? It was sad because the, they were taught, some of them were toddlers. And it really kind of, certain things just changed your life. So... That was called Nine Echo at Sacramento International Airport. Now, this, to me, appears to be a DHL. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is a delivery area, but my spirit is saying it is, and that it's separate from the commercial flight area. Again, referencing the, the pictures I've shown you. And this is Brussels Airport. And then, they, and then what they do is they taxi off, uh, and then the tower tells them, you know what, lane to take like sacramento has four runways i believe my memory is still good and then they taxi off and take off well what the lord told me today is is look ignore distractions keep your eye on the united nations the european union and new york because the package is about to be delivered and then he showed me this and i, I just can't be any more clear than this that this is a method of delivering a package. This is just one method. We know in part, we prophesy in part. But when, when the Holy Spirit told me, record again and start over and point out no windows, I knew that the Holy Spirit was telling me to sound the alarm. The package is about ready to be delivered and to tell people to wake up from their slumber and to ignore the distractions and seek the will of God. Here's the scriptures he gave me. He said, be ye wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And I'm thinking, why would I want to be wise as a serpent? And he, and he says, Matthew 10, 16, I'll put links to this too. He said, behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents, as hardened, as harmless as doves. What the Lord was telling me is to be, be wise and not ignorant of the methods of our enemy. I'm going to say that again, to be wise and not ignorant and yet harmless. That, that's what your armor is for, to stand against it with the sword of the spirit, armored up. And then, and I'm like, well, why, Lord? He said, well, because redeeming the time, because the day are evil. I'll put a link to this also. He spoke clearly in his word, redeeming the time because the days are evil. A lot of people want me to come on here and preach happy, preach happy, preach happy. And I understand that. But look, the days are evil. We need to preach this part too, amen. We need to preach about the seals. We need to preach about tribulation. We need to preach about the time we're in. We need to preach that we need to understand that there's an end time hour that's going to come upon us. And we are entering it right now, the final hour, and that these days will be evil. And we're to rise up as warriors. And we're to be wise and understand the wiles and tricks of Satan. And expose darkness with uh, why. It says, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Well, what, if the, what is the will of the Lord? Well, that this earth's going to pass away. 
Is, is that a, a happy thing? It's preach happy? Well, it's in the Word of God. And when we're, there are going to be people here when it does, and we're to go out and reach them, Jesus said. But we don't it just ignore the parts of the Bible we don't want to preach, just because mainstream isn't preaching them. And so let, let, let's take a look at the UN real quick. Let me show you there. This is Brussels flag. I read here that they are the de facto capital of the European Union. My mother was teaching me about this. She called it the common market, the ten nations, and the the, the seven horns, and, and the seven, there's three and seven, and then ten nations. This is in Daniel 9, Daniel 2, Daniel 9, Daniel 11, Revelation, I believe it's 19, um, it's throughout the Bible, these these uh, ten nations. My mom called them the common market back then, but the Lord's showing me it's the European European Union, and Brussels is the capital, and the package is about ready to be delivered to New York via this mode of transportation here. Uh, I'm not saying DHL. I'm just showing you what the Lord has shown me, and this is the flag of Belgium. So I went and looked at New York specifically, and I googled the uh, the Brussels Embassy in the United States in New York, and the same map came up as yesterday when I Google Earthed it. And I'll show you what I mean. Here's 37th and 7th, 377. Seven. This is not weird number stuff, but look what's around it here. Uh, Times Square kidding me Penn State Penn Station I'm sorry Penn Station and then also there was a University of New York that's what I was talking about um, I believe it was north so let me let me show you the exact areas of 37th and 7th I'll start moving this around now because I'm beta testing screenmatic here's 37th and 7th here's uh, Times Square And then there's a college up here. And the, these hotels, big major hotels like the Hilton. It's New York College. Um, there's the Marriott. So we're going to see something here very shortly. We're going to learn about a package being delivered. Look at that top of the rock, Rockefeller Plaza, I guess this is. So I want to do one more thing. Uh, after showing you those two scriptures and showing you this on... I want to do one more thing. So remember this picture and what I talked about. I'm going to Google Earth. Brussels. U.S. Embassy. New York. And show it to you in a better map. And then tell you to watch for this package to be delivered. And don't be ignorant, but to be uh, wise of it. So we're going from Brussels to New York, right? And and the, and the Holy Spirit just spoke to me. That's why I'm glad I remade this video again. That it's not a direct flight. It's not a direct flight from Brussels to New York. Look at, do you see this house kitchen? Can anybody bear witness that this is the same exact map in real time? Times Square, Hell's Kitchen. That this is the same exact, exact picture the Holy Spirit showed yesterday. Does anybody have the address of, look, here's the New Zealand consulate, Koreatown. This is amazing. The pond, Central Park. I'm going to, since I have a few minutes left, I'm going to try to Google the address for the, uh, for the U.S. Embassy. Here, real quick. The, I'm going to have to go quick. I'll pause it for a second. Hold on. Okay, the Lord has just shown me this, and I'm going to show this and close. If someone can find the address of the um, Brussels Embassy, this is usembassy.gov in New York, please post a link to that so I can research this more. But you know how we talk about seven nations now? The Lord showed me the numbers three and seven. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the USA being seven seven 
we are there. Shalom.